Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We are back. Um, guess what we're doing today? We are working out on a sauna steamer. So, it's not my first time. I've worked in a lot of saunas before, but it's like about my fifth one working on a steamer sauna. So, basically, yesterday um, I came and what was going on is we installed this uh, sauna steamer quite a long time, about over little almost a month ago uh what's going on is the steamer wasn't working properly um uh, basically it was hitting up but it wasn't making any steam it was just basically hot water like partial hot water coming out so what was going on is that the heating elements that came with the steamer which i'm about to show you what it is how they look like Basically, if I can get it out, this one's expanded, so I can get it out, but actually, basically, let me show you a messed up one. So this right here is a heating element. If you, if you, if you do, you know, technician work, or like, if you're a plumber and that, done water heater before, this right here is a heating element. Uh, you find heating elements on water heaters, uh, it's on a steamer, um, systems and things like that so basically what happened is those uh, well the heating elements that came with the sauna steamer Well, again, sorry about that. I'm trying to show you what it's doing that. But anyways, well, the sauna steamer came with this kind of um, hitting elements. The hitting elements that came in there only equal up to uh, 10,000K. Uh, this sauna is, sauna steamer system is 14K to make it work properly. So if you have something under, not even close to, because the minimum is 10,500K. Uh, so this one only came with 14 uh with 10 with 10. so um the, at least the most you want to go up to is that 13.5k so 13.5 so the fact that if we weren't even close to the minimum that's the reason uh that's the reason the steamer wasn't working properly so what we did is i took this yesterday i'll show you what it looks like steamer right there The steamer uh, component right here, all this is right here. They go through this uh, communications cables right here that communicate with the board downstairs, the controller, and everything like that. You got your power over there, 208 volt, three phase. Um, you got your hot water coming out right here. You got the water coming in right here. And basically, what we did for this is um, over time. This thing's built, built up a lot of scale, just like water heaters. So we did, we installed a filtration system for it. So that way it cleans the water, it prevents a lot of scale, uh, scaling in the water. So basically we uh, uh, we did that. So we installed a filtration system for this so it won't build as much scale in, inside the heating tank, preventing a lot of all the nasty stuff from it from heating properly. So. I think I should put something here because it sticks a lot right here. I'm about to, I'm about to put a little, um, so a little another bracket to hold it still. Um, so basically, it also comes with its own uh, drain pump right here, which you see there. It's draining. That's what it's doing. So it's really hot. You should not touch that. But it comes with a drain pump and everything. So basically, what that's what a, a steamer generator looks like. Basically, this is electrical. Water goes through there, heats it up just like a water heater, and it pushes it out when you uh, when you put it on command. Um, also, so um, that's the problems I was having yesterday. So basically since um, what was there already wasn't uh, big enough to heat up properly. So all you were getting is you were getting warm, but it wasn't making any steam because what happens is if, we, if the space in, if you, if you limit this, if you limit the space in there to basically where it heats up water, and it doesn't make the steam, 
So basically what was going on, basically it was taking too long to heat it up. So it was just only shooting hot water. But the fact that it comes up there now, it heats up the water faster. So water fills in there and heats up so fast, it starts sending steam through the through the nozzles of the where it goes downstairs instead of just sending just regular wa uh, hot water through there. So instead of just having just a, a shower in there, you actually have a steamer because the water that comes there is so hot, it starts steaming as soon as it, it gets out the, the shower head that's downstairs basically. But I'll show you as soon as I get on there so you show, I'll show you how it looks uh, with the controllers and everything. So basically that's how a steamer works. So it heats up quick, water goes in there, fills up, it heats so quick that when it on, it's on demand, um, it lets basically just sends uh, hot water steam because it comes out so fast uh, through the shower through the head that it's basically so steam out there because it's just so hot. Um, right now it's at about 120 degrees. Pretty sure it can go a little higher, but so far that's good enough to start make, uh, putting some heat through there. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's what we're doing today. I'm about to take you downstairs so you can see exactly how it looks inside the steamer and what a steamer uh, basically is for people that are not too familiar with this. That's what we're gonna do. But so far, that's how a steamer system is. It's not hard. Basically, you run your power up here, all the way up, connected right there. From there, you jump it into the system right there. And then from there, basically just power because everything comes in, wired up, you wired up the, the pump, basically the drain pump in there, which is this thing right there, hiding back there, right there. It's a black thing right here. That's your pump, that's your drain pump. Basically, it just puts your water out with pressure, empties it quicker. Basically, you this is right here is your water in. It goes all the way down right there. You, it's like if you, you follow this path, and it basically takes you down where the filter is. The reason we put a filter down there is the way we can change it faster. Because in here, look, I'm basically crouching in this uh, attic space above, basically where the steamer is. The steamer is literally right under me. So that's the reason we put the filter down there in the bottom area, close to the bottom area. See the ceiling, ceiling, the ceiling, but. Basically, you can't see it. Nobody can see it except for us and the owner. So, because we're at a gym, this is a gym. This is Balance Gym in DC. So, if you have, if I have a described, if you're if you're from the area in DC area or Maryland, look for your uh, closest Balance Gym. They're cool people. They're awesome. They give great service. So, if you haven't, go to there. Uh, go to them. They, you know, the workout is really nice. Have a lot like yoga, bike, uh, cycling, you know, this kind of good stuff. Calisthenics and all this good stuff that you people like. Um, for my weight trainers, I got free weights, so you know it, let's do it. Um, but basically, yeah, so your water comes in through here, goes down there, then it basically comes back up, it goes into the system here, it goes into this tank right here down here. Once it heats up, it comes out of here, and basically, how it goes that way, into the steamer, um, into the shower head that's in there. But ladies and gentlemen, the steamer is super simple. It's literally just wiring up a water heater, but it's way smaller, like a tankless, basically. It's like a tankless water, water heater for a sauna. Um, that's what you can compare it to. Uh, except that it gets super hot and it heats up water like that quick. So as soon as the water fills up, pressure goes up in it, it just shoots it right out. Because the, fa the faster the, the closest hot water gets, it basically the more steam it builds down there. So basically we're gonna go downstairs right now and show you what it is, all right? I was playing it's literally an obstacle. Really, I'm in here, crawled. I have to literally crawl through this uh, duct space and everything like that so I can get out of here. So, let's do it. All right, we're crawling. Let's get out of here. Always be careful. You don't want to hurt yourself. There's a lot of duct work here. And if you do my if my HVAC guys out there, you do you know that duct work is charged. So, always wash your hands when you're getting out of here. See how tight this is right here? Lily is talking about 18 inches of clearance and you have to crawl through. This is the VVF right there where the steamer uh, generator is. Uh, we're gonna get out of here. Grab my tools. Really simple tools. All you need is some pipe some wrenches, things like that. Great fun because it goes from there to you way smaller. So you gotta crawl under all this, all this pipe right here. I was playing. This not this hasn't been easy. Get under up here was a pain in the butt. Do that. Sit down. Alright. Oh, you're spinning side. So legs first. Clean carefully with all this water pipes that are on here. Alright, let's get down ladies and gentlemen. 
It hasn't been easy. So, getting it being down here, up here, has not been easy. Getting that thing up here with one hand, wow. So, let's get down. Let's see, just slowly slide down. My ladder is like really right above here. Right under here. There we go. We're going down, ladies and gentlemen. There you go. I put the ladder. There you go. It's easier with a buddy system, but when you by yourself, you gotta do what you gotta do. All right. Let's get my tools right here. This is a pipe though. This is basically just to time the elements. Like if you do water heaters or anything like that, you know that's through a super hand, uh, handy. Basically, we prevent from damaging the uh, hitting element when you're tying it. Really, um, this um, hitting elements. Really, all you need, need to tie is like, like hand tight with that, and just a little, just a little bit of uh, torque, and that's it. No, it doesn't need much. Because if you keep tying it too much, you you, raise, uh, you run risk of uh, mushrooming the uh, mushrooming the uh, gasket and uh, breaking the leak. So things like that. Let's get down to here. Show you the where we put the filter. Basically, it comes down. So basically, you see this uh, copper pipe right there. That's all my water line that comes in here. See that? I have one filtration system. See, preventing scale. Boom, scale times two. Um, solid tech. Boom. So I was playing. Because we're getting down. Because look, look how tight it is to get up there. Um, so that's the filtration system. The reason why, because you can just get it, just get on the ladder, come here, use the key, turn the well, shut the water off, and uh, make sure the system was off. Come with this key right here. Oh, loosen that filter up. Good to go. I got one more tool. Then we gotta get down. controller here for that all right just to see that so right now you got 10 minutes it's barely 160 degrees in there 107 it keeps going up slowly okay. you go on here look at that steam so you shall hear the good right up there that's right because you, see, you want to see steam right there. that's what you want to see you don't want to see water come too much water it's working like it's already sweating. But anyways, this gun is so far so good. It's working properly. I'm not getting leaks. I'm not getting any leaks up there. So I don't have any leaks. Everything's coming around. I'm getting steam, which is what I wanted. Uh, I'm not seeing if you want to shoot out of there because I would have got away because it's literally the head is right there. So if it would have been um if it would been water, I would have been all, all wet, but I'm not. So, which is good. I love it because that's what we do. Like, put you one here, you want to get steam out of there. So, basically, now we're going to let it basically just run all the nine minutes, basically, run through a cycle. Uh, um, other than that, that concludes this block. Like, we installed this uh, sauna also here. Look, a little nice sauna in there, also. Uh, we did this one too. Uh, with the same controller. Look, similar. It's on the same grain. Sauna controller there. Other than that, ladies and gentlemen, that's how you basically install a, a uh, steamer. You don't have to go step by step. Literally, it's super easy as long as you know where your water is coming in. And basically, is re uh, reading the schematics, you should be perfectly fine. Um, other than that, ladies and gentlemen, that concludes this vlog. If you have any questions about it, let me know. I'll be more than glad to help you out. So, literally. Installing a steamer is super easy. Just follow the steps, literally water goes in. And if you want to install the filtration system, which is, I recommend it very much because it helps to uh, prevent so much scale inside the heating uh, inside the heating tank and basically prevent it from less maintenance, basically. Uh, basically do that, uh, if it's in the um, ceiling like that, like I, basically like I came up with, which is I encountered, I recommend running the basically the filter down and running it back up to uh, after there. Basically, then the rest is usually just to drain and the water and the pipe where the water comes into the shower. Other than that, ladies and gentlemen, you got your three phase 
a 50 a 50 amp three pole breaker which is basically for three phase one three um one breaker three phase um basically 208 volts and make sure uh, always um always looks at the heating element make sure they equal what it actually says on there because if it's less than 10,500 k which is what it said on there it's not gonna work properly it's basically you're just gonna be getting hot water out of there and basically i would have been wet by now um instead of getting actual steam which is um um what is happening now so instead of being so what we put on the better elements uh that we had to order from the company um basically equals up to uh 13 uh 13 5 4, uh, 14 k which is what's recommended for this type especially if you uh if you if it's for a gym like there's a, a famous gym that a lot of people use steam a lot of people like using steamers after a workout which is good it's not bad or before a workout because you can use it basically warm your, uh, warm your muscles up and things like that but mostly after because you know you, you strip down and just get your towel and go into the steamer and relax for a little bit um but other than that ladies and gentlemen this concludes this blog if you haven't subscribed hit the subscribe button down below hit the like button if you please share the video help your boy out tell your uh, family and friends to subscribe and you'll be seeing more of this uh this quarantine thing sucks and y'all know it so basically just do what you gotta do to stay busy stay stay healthy stay hydrate take your vitamins always sanitize your hands wash your hands keep your face clean and do what you gotta do to stay healthy ladies and gentlemen you know it uh stay safe in this quarantine stay out of trouble and if you have any questions anything you want me to talk about or blog about hit it in the comments you I always put my instagram at the end of the video you know hit um also you can go to my um info of youtube you always you will always find my instagram or snapchat so if you always want to hit me up add me up at, if you want to ask any questions you want to talk about something you need any help with something always hit me up i'll be more than glad to help electrical plumbing hvac things like that um if you're around the dmv area hit us up smart services and just look at what should be uh top first we're the best in the dmv you know it uh hit me up i'll be more than glad to help you out take it easy ladies and gentlemen goodbye